Hello, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover a very interesting topic. Yeah, one thing, if you are not connected with my uh, with me on LinkedIn, you can follow me on LinkedIn, okay? And I will be sharing nice articles and news on the LinkedIn. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. It will help me to create good quality content because it's, you know, get some time to create content. Okay, and you can follow me on the GitHub as well for nice repos if you want to get every week. Okay, how we can attach a domain instead of, you know, going to this, uh, uh, what I will say, going to this, a racket. So what do you have to do? You have to just go to root uh, 53, okay. Here we will be registering our domain, okay. So you have to, you know, create a hosted zone okay in the hosted zone because I have a domain on my GoDaddy account okay I will just go open my GoDaddy account okay okay this is the domain okay I will just uh, copy this domain and I will paste it okay simple and then I have to register this domain okay and this domain will be registered okay so what I have to do here I have to you know copy these uh, name servers and I have to add on my GoDaddy okay so I'm just going to you know click on DNS okay I will just click on name servers okay so I will just make sure that my domain is properly connected so I will just copy one by one all these records. Okay, I will just change the name servers. Uh, just uh, delete these ones first. And the second is this name server. Okay, we don't need to add the dot. Okay, then the third one, which is this name server. Okay, that's fine and then we have to copy the last name server okay so we have to add it okay so we have to save it okay so it sometime you know it can take hours okay but normally it can take you know five minutes okay your uh, domain will be uh, connected with your route 53 okay so when you update the name servers okay then what you have to do next you have to uh, connect okay uh, a load balancer with your domain okay so what i will do here if i just click on create a racket okay so because i'm using a dns of my load balancer okay so what i will do here I will just click on alias okay and we have to use the traffic from our load balancer okay there will be application uh, you know and classic load balancer just select it and then we have to choose the region because uh, my application my load balancer is in a Virginia region okay I will choose that region okay then I have to choose the load balancer okay so I have to just attach this load balancer to my uh, domain okay so my load balancer is connected if I try to you know access the application onto this domain maybe I can try okay so because sometime it takes to uh, propagate the domain name server to uh, the application okay so we have to just wait here okay and uh, it can get ready okay meanwhile I think we can install an SSL certificate okay and it will be ready uh, in a shorter time okay so if I just go to yeah that's fine let me just open AWS certificate manager okay I will just write certificate manager okay certificate manager we are going to uh, add a certificate okay I'll just go and uh, because I have already you know uh, connected with a, a certificate but you can click on request okay and next you will need to just write a domain name here okay and then you will just uh, click on request okay what I will do I'm just going to you know delete it okay so I can just show you 
how it work okay so that's fine just go and this is my domain name okay and just click on create okay so the domain is being uh, created okay so we have to wait or if I just click on it okay what we can do we can create uh, this racket into our route 53 we have already a domain so I will just click on create a racket into okay because uh, when AWS provide a certificate they provide us a CNAME racket we have to add the CNAME racket into our you know domain if we are not managing at route 53 if you're managing on you know Cloudflare or GoDaddy we have to add this racket so I have added this racket onto the route 53 because I am using uh, route 53 okay so pending validation okay uh, AWS take five minutes to get uh, this ready okay so they allow they issue the uh, certificate so if I just go back to route 53 so I will show you this CNAME bracket is added okay onto our domain okay hosted zone click on it so you will see okay this CNAME bracket which is this one this one added okay so we have to wait for SSL to be ready okay and yeah it is getting ready so let's try to you know access the application again okay it's still HTTP okay it's still not accessible because it takes some time to get ready okay because it has to you know get connected okay because the name server are already added okay so it can take some time so our certificate is also pending so I can just wait okay so there is a one interesting tool like uh, where you can check your domain uh, propagation okay how it is being propagated and connected with your route 53 okay so suppose I have a domain dot shop okay so this is my domain if I check so you can see in most of the regions it is no accessible okay it is propagated and connected with the route 53 it is still you know I will uh, need to connect with some other regions okay so uh, maybe I can try now again if it is accessible or not in my country okay I think still it is not accessible so it need to be you know connected to whole the you know uh, regions in the world meanwhile uh, what we can do here if you just go and to your load balancer because we have to create a new uh, racket there so we can run application on HTTPS as well so what I will do here I will just go to my EC2 dashboard and I will just go to the load balancers okay currently we have uh, if I click on my load balancers and if I just go select on listener and rules we are only running on port uh, 80 which is HTTPS what I will do I will also add an HTTPS as well okay and I will select the target group that we have already okay and then here we need to you know select the certificate okay we have already a certificate added that's fine and we have to just add okay so this racket is also added it will help us to run application on HTTPS as well so no I think almost every step we have done okay now we have to you know just uh, you will need to maybe wait okay for 10 minutes for 30 minutes okay to get your uh, domain be ready maybe I can try to start shop onto the HTTPS okay but uh, still it is uh, trying to connect okay so hopefully uh, I can wait one minute more okay so I have almost waited for you know 10 to 15 minutes but in my region it is not working but I can show you one interesting thing I can if I have my another browser okay here I can try to you know uh, use VPN uh, in a US region so I can show uh, it is accessible in the US region okay so let me yeah my SSL yeah I am connected okay so you can see our application is totally accessible on the domain as well 
so i think yeah that's for today and hopefully you like it okay and uh, if you like it share this video on your linkedin on your social media okay also like this and comment if you if my video is helpful okay so i will be seeing you in my next video have a good day bye